In this video, we are going to look at how we handle negative characteristics of logarithms. We have an example, an illustration on our screen. If you look at the logarithm of 0 0.005 base 10, turning this 0 0.005 into standard form is going to be log to the base 10 of 5 times 10 to the power negative 3. This is the standard form of this number. Now, because it is in brackets, when you open these brackets, you're going to have log of 5 base 10, which is this, plus, since this is multiplication, so it's going to become plus log base to our log of 10 to the power negative 3 base 10, which is this. Now, when you look at these two terms, you're having a negative to the power negative 3. It's a negative characteristic of the logarithm because when you get this negative 3 right there, you remain with negative 3 as this becomes 1. So it means that you're having a negative characteristic right there. And in such cases, this positive 1 is called the mantissa and this is the negative characteristic we are talking about. Now, in this video, we want to l learn how we deal with these negative characteristics. So, when you continue, when you find the log of 5 in your tables, it is 0 0.6990. And definitely this is going to remain as negative 3. But we treat it as 3 bar not negative 3 because when we add this to that as far as logs are concerned we are going to add the mantissa separately and the characteristic the negative characteristic will be added separately so it means that when we add this and that it's like we are adding negative 3 plus this but in actual sense here the, the answer here now is negative 3 point six nine nine zero but this negative 3 is independent of this other term. This negative 3 is the characteristic and this other part of the number is what we are calling the mantissa and these two are independent of each other. So negative bar 3.06990 is not the same as negative 3.6990. These are different. This negative means that it affects the whole term, the whole number. But when we say 3 and you just put the negative on top, which I'll call 3 bar, it means that this negative term, this negative only affects that number 3. We'll, let's, we'll use more illustrations to make this more clearer. Let's look at this example. This is a logarithm with a characteristic 4 bar 0.7321 and this. And we are being asked to add them. So how do we add this? It's simple. We simply say uh, that 0.73. 2, 1, to add this it becomes 2.0526 when you add those two you're going to add the mantissa this is separate from that so this negative only affects this characteristic it does not affect the rest of these so these ones are not taken as negative so when you're adding this is 6 plus 1 which is 7 2 plus 2 which is 4 5 plus 3 is 8 7 plus 0 is 7. Then we have a decimal point right there. Then now here we are having negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 is going to give us negative 2. And we shall write it like that as 2 bar. We have another ex illustration, another example. This is a 3 bar point four, three, two, one. 2, 1. Add this. 1 bar point eight. 4, 2, 2. In adding those, still, we treat the characteristic side independently of this side. So, these ones are positives. 1 plus 2, this is 3. Then we have 2 plus 2, which is 4. We have 3 plus 4, which is 8. We have 8 plus 4, which is 12. So, this is becoming 2. We carry 1 here. So, it becomes 1 minus 3 minus 1. So 1 minus 3 is going to give us negative 2. The negative 2 plus negative 1 will give us negative 3. So this becomes bar 3. So it's bar 3.2843. That's how we deal with that arithmetic. Next, we have now subtraction of these 
subtraction of this characteristic and mantissa of these log forms. So here we shall say it is 2.6249, that is minus this, 2.2.4. 3 oh it is 2.4135 this two is right not there so when you have to subtract those it's going to become 9 minus 5 is going to give us 4 4 minus 3 is going to give us 1 2 minus 1 is going to give us 1 then 6 minus 4 is going to give us 2 decimal point then we shall add this this negative only affects that number it does not affect the rest of this part so it's negative 2 minus 2 that's giving us 4 bar negative 2 minus 2 is going to give us negative 4 so how do we multiply them multiplying them is going to be so 2 times 5 is 10 so you write here 0 you carry 1 7 times 2 is 14 14 plus that 1 is going to give us 15. So you write 5 carry 1. 2 divided by 3 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. Then 2 times 4 is 8. Then we have 2 times 3 bar. 2 times 3 bar is 6 bar. So when we are multiplying these numbers, when we are multiplying logarithms, because this is a logarithm, we, we do it in such a way that we are going to multiply this by the, char the characteristic will be multiplied independently from this. So it means that the answer here we are getting is 6 bar 0 0.8750. If you look at it this way, this is like saying to multiply that by negative 3 plus 0 0.4375. This is how we should look at it. That this negative 3 is independent. 2, time, two times negative 3 gave us negative 6. Then 2 times 0 0.4374 gave us 0 0.8750. That is how we should look at it. Let's look at the next example. Now still, when you're multiplying this, this is the same as saying uh, 4 multiply that by negative 4 plus 0 0.62401 we are going to multiply the two independently so this negative only affects this part this is free of that it's still positive so it's 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 0 is 0 4 times 4 is 16 so 6 carry 1 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1 is 9 4 times 6 is 24 so you write 4 you carry 2 so 4 times negative 4 is going to be negative 16. Negative 16 plus 2 plus positive 2 is going to give us negative 14. So it becomes bar 1, 4. Point. Like that. And that is how we multiply logarithms with negative characteristics. Now we are going to look at how we divide logarithms with negative characteristics. We shall do it with an example. We are supposed to divide 5 bar 0.2514 divided by 3. Now we are looking at this is a logarithm, a log number that is having a negative characteristic. Now, when the characteristic is positive, first of all, division will always be carried out in the usual way. This is the characteristic we are talking about and this is the mantissa. So when the characteristic is positive, division is in the usual way. But then, if the characteristic is negative like the way we are seeing in this example, then the logarithm is going to have to be rearranged to make the operation possible. Now in such cases, the negative characteristic is increased to the next integer so that it is divisible by the dividing constant. If you look at this number here, if you look at this characteristic, this negative characteristic, you realize that 5 is not divisible by 3. So what do we do? We are supposed to increase this negative characteristic to the next integer so that this characteristic is divisible by 3. So 
in our example it means that this here our next step is going to be we're supposed to increase this so this is going to become 5 bar is supposed to add plus 1 because 5 plus 1 is going to give us 6 and 6 is divisible by 3 so it's going to be 5 plus 1 then that is going to be the characteristic we deal with it independently then it's going to be plus then we have this other 0 0.2514 now this one, since we added one here, we are supposed to also add one here to make the whole thing uniform. Divide that by 3. So definitely here what we have is 6 bar plus, this is going to be 1.2514. Divide that by 3. And of course here the answer is 3 divided by 6 bar is going to be uh, 2 bar point the uh, 2 bar plus 1.2514 divided by 3 is still going to give us 0 0.4171 and our answer is going to be 2 bar 0 0.4171 and that is our answer looking at this next example it's just more like the, the one before previously if you look at this negative characteristic it is 2 bar this 2 bar is not divisible by 5 so we're supposed to add something to this to the next nearest integer so that it is divisible by five if you look at this two bar if you uh, we, we if we add two if we add two plus three we are going to make five so if you're adding three here it means you're going to add three here as well so it means this is going to become this two bar we're supposed to add three so that it becomes five so that we are able to it's divisible by this so it's well you shall add plus five bar plus so this is the negative characteristic then the mantis i will deal with it separately so it's going to become plus this is going to be 0 0.3451 since we added five here it mean i mean we, we we added three it's supposed to be three sorry it's supposed to be three bars so that three plus two is five and because 5 is what is divisible by, uh, by this. So since we added 5, 3 here, so it's supposed, it means that this we are supposed to also add 3 right there. Divide that by 5. So we shall end up with 3 plus 2, which is 5 bar plus this plus that gives us 3.3451. 3, divide that by 5. So our answer here will be, uh, of course 5 bar divided by 5 is going to give us 1 bar plus 5 uh, I mean 3 point this divided by that is going to give us 0 0.6692 so our final answer will be 1.6692 so the most important thing here that we need to take note of is that we added here 3 bar and also on, on to the characteristic we added three and then on the mantissa we also added three why so that we're able to get these numbers divisible by five this brings us to the end of this video thanks for tuning in i encourage you to subscribe for more of these videos for example academy this is an old one